We have 7 billion people living on Earth, but we have 300 million tons of garbage lying around. We are living in an era full of trash and the many problems that come along with it. But is it possible to get used to trash? Unfortunately, yes. We don't even notice how trash is destroying our planet, our ecosystem and our health. A lot of people know that they're not very clean. They throw their garbage in the drains. They um, throw it out of the cars and on the road. And then they don't clean it up a lot. It's about connecting with people on a deeper level to say, well, it's not just about picking up litter, it's about questioning why it's put there in the first place. Because no matter who does the cleaning up, the main problem is that we are putting it there and we're putting it there with careless habits. Um, we're putting it there because we buy things that we don't care about. It will be diseasey, there will be uh, pollution, water, air pollution, poisoning and all those things. It's so hard to clean and it's so easy to make it a mess. There was one country where people decided to change this. On the 3rd of May 2008, more than 50,000 volunteers in Estonia came together to clean up their entire country. In just five hours, they picked up 10,000 tons of waste. One small country called Estonia became clean. Country by country, this idea started to spread. A simple idea of everyone coming together and cleaning up their city or country. Lithuania did their clean up next then Latvia, then came Slovenia, Portugal, Serbia, and many more. With this amazing enthusiasm, a new ambitious plan was born. Let's clean up the entire planet. And the plan was to engage at least 100 countries and millions of volunteers. World Cleanup 2012 started on the 24th of March with cleanups in Portugal, Slovenia, and Tunisia. From this day, millions of people started to clean up their countries. It was like a rebellion against trash all over the world. One cleanup grew into a civic movement, spreading across borders and continents, cleaning up villages, towns, and entire countries. Un proiect a cărui amploare fără precedent la noi a început a fost ziua curățeniei generale în țara noastră. Bilanțul acestei mobilizări fără precedent în România este uimitor. Peste 200 de mii de oameni. În 2012, um, St. Lucia did a clean-up. Our first let's do it clean-up. And we did it on July 29th. Um, it was very exciting for us um, being part of this global initiative. Uh, we have had a very successful campaign. Uh, a lot of Salvadorians we're very excited about participating with Let's Do It in these cleanup campaigns. I would say compared to the last year, we see the really exponential growth. So we did it uh, the third time already. So the, the first time it was uh, 2010, it was just 1,500 participants. And in 2011, it was 9,000 participants. And uh, this year, it was 85,000 participants. We really hope next year it will be another 10 times uh, bigger campaign. Let's Do It movement now unites active people in 96 different countries. By the end of 2012, 7 million volunteers had participated in 115 different cleanups all over the world. During World Cleanup 2012, over 100,000 tons of waste was cleaned up. But this movement is not only about cleaning up waste. It's about taking the power and responsibility back into our own hands. It's about making a big effort and a big change for the good of all. Together, we will make our world clean and healthy again. You know, really, World Cleanup is, is not about cleaning the waste in the forests. It's, uh, it's cleaning waste from the heads of the people and uh, World Cleanup is about getting things done together and, and changing things, doing things together. Join the biggest cleanup action our planet has ever seen, World Cleanup 2013. Is your country on board? Check it out and be an active part of a real change.
www.letsdoitworld.org. Let's clean up the world together.